Hello everyone, I'm Qin Hai Zhong from Inspire. I'm a cloud computing network architect. I am mainly engaged in the design and development of OpenStack control plans and high performance network for stack solutions. I will share the performance optimizations of DBT for edge scenarios with Xu Chengjie from Inter from the aspects of virtualization and containers. First of all, I will share DBTK performance optimization for edge scenarios from virtualization direction. I will share the application scenarios of edge computing key technical features of edge computing optimization of OpenStack over DBTK and effect improvement. Edge computing has been a hot topic in the past two years. Various white papers and research reports have defined edge computing. The core points as a seem close to the data generating end. Now let's try to analyze cloud computing and edge computing applications in different scenarios. Cloud computing is suitable for non-real-time, long-period data, and business detection making scenarios where edge computing has an irreplaceable role in real-time, short-period data, and local decision making scenarios. The driver scenarios listed here all have edge computing features. We can predict that in the future, edge computing and cloud computing must be the two important support for the digital transformation of the industry, the synergy between the two terms of network business application intelligence uh, it will help support a wider range of scenarios and a greater value creation. Here, we summarize the three key technical features unique to edge computing. First, real-time. Real-time is a core performance problem faced by many new applications such as augmented reality and driverless driving. And it is also the core problem to be solved by edge computing. The stack is high bad width and low latency when a variety of massive technical devices generate a large amount of data. Distributed edge states are connected nearby to avoid bandwidth bottlenecks in the central cloud and the latency can be effectively reduced by physically closer driver. The key technical characteristics of the above two data plan have higher requirements for the construction and the technical specification of the edge cloud. The third cloud edge global vision from a global perspective the central 
cloud and multi edge cloud are a distributed system. Uh, this also has a classic similarity, just like in Octopus and Technaeus. So, edge cloud data see a uh, remote push for the manager. All this need to be fully considered and uh, agreed. Next, let's talk about the current common, common solutions that meet the key technical characteristics of the data plan in the real time, high bandwidth, and low latency. First of all, let's Take a look at the real time. At present, the real time solutions mainly rely on Linux real time patches. Real time patches are used to optimize hypervisor scaling, stretch process locks, and interrupt the shading machines. So, what are the main optimization solutions in the network? We have concluded that there are many DBTK, SRV, and smart network cards. One common feature of this solution is the bypass kernel. From the current technology, the bypass kernel is in the network IO pass. As the hypervisor layer is improved, the most basic method of network IO performance when the virtual machine survives need to carry network characteristics, survives such as NFV network elements. The kernel receiving and sending package is also bottlenecks. Neck. The improvement of network I.O. in the virtual machine is now mainly the DBTK solution. Next is the focus of our sharing the time. We have done same practice and optimization of OpenStack and DBTK. There are also many OpenStack DBTK solutions such as OS DBTK, VBB, OVN. Uh, OS DBTK is uh, compatible with uh, uh, neutral open research agent control plan. And, and the solution is mature. And the and the in, in introduction cost is low. We choose OS DBTK as the main DBTK solution since the color community did not release the OVDBDK container based on SnowS. After our engineers researched and developed, there is no technical problem with containerizing the OVDBDK container on SnowS, and we have successfully containerized the OVDBDK SnowS. After our continuous tuning and testing of OVDBDK in actual use, we have summarized the key optimization points of the host and OVDBDK. Let's first of all look, out, look at the points of optimization of the host. First, the bears must be adjusted first. For example, there is a performance mode in the mainstream server bears of Inspire, which can support one key adjustment and then optimize the power stage spill performance and set it to the best mode. Second, Apply real time patch to computing nodes. Third, system 
parameter of the medication, mainly based uh, on the number of neuma, the number of speed calls, and uh, the number of memory on the computing node, or to make take a CPU isolation, setting of YDPK bounding calls, large page memory, kernel threading, thread uh, pinning, and uh, as uh, all optimizations, uh, force Nova configure optimization. optimization. Here is mainly optimized for CPU mode. We host the network card, ring buffer, set CPU pending list. Uh, first, uh, flavor of optimizations. Here is a mainly parameter tending for creating virtual machine bounding screen strategy. Die huge pages, network card multi queen. Uh, next, uh, we will look at uh, the, what YDPK need to optimize and adjust. After our Continuous optimization testing and combine. We mainly turn the YDBK in three aspects. First, PMD bounding calls, uh, larger page, huge page memory. They are common conventional twenty mode method. I believe everyone is familiar with it, and I will not elaborate it here. Uh, second, DBDK physical network card parameter optimization. You need to open the physical network card's mod queen, send and receive descriptors, offload parameters to optimize. Third, multi queen bounding call optimization need to optimize the distribution distribution of the virtual machine and work card and the physical network card a separate queen on the CPU. For this optimization points we have made in automatic optimization change of course, we also support the configuration adjustments, which can be adjusted according to user needs. The above are the core trending advantages. How about the effect of OIDDK? For OIDDK, we have also done performance tests in many scenarios, including common virtual machine service and various screens at similar NFV network elements virtual machine screen service. We have conducted comprehensive tests for these scenarios. Next, we share two more classic test scenarios and results. Let's take a look at Let's take a look at the combination virtual machines business in the first test scenarios. Uh, this is to see the application of virtual machine use the kernel protocol stack, network stack to send and receive package. This test scenarios is like this, two computing nodes, five, virtual machines on each computing nodes, two computing nodes, each pair perform the stream. It can be seen from this result that the effect of both small and large packets has improved significantly and the average increase is more than two times. Um, uh, this is another uh, scenario. FVLR 
NFR2 forwarding. In this scenario, DBTK is used to run uh, layer layer two layer two forward in the virtual machine, and a test is passed uh, extremely. This is a classic PVP scenario. Let's take a look at the test results. Since the NFV scenario has a strict forwarding delay, according to the operator's NFV test specification, we set the forwarding delay to be less than 30 microseconds. We can see that. 512 bytes are almost close to wear speed forwarding and meet the delay requirements. Other scenarios with packed length can meet the requirements in terms of throughout and delay. Uh, uh, okay. My share is over, and the next will be shared by Xu Chenjie from Intel. This is Chen Jie Xu. I'm from Intel. From this slide, I'm going to introduce the networking requirement of Network Edge. Network Edge is deployed in telecom server room. The original application of telecom is waiting app, which is used to process networking traffic. As Kubernetes is becoming more and more popular, CNF, which is cloud native network function, is emerging. Network Edge needs to run both WNF, CNF, and normal application like engines. However, WNF and CNF are based on DBDK which means Linux networking stack is bypassed, but normal application needs Linux networking stack. Eurospace CNI plugin is an open source CNI plugin and is developed by Intel. Eurospace CNI plugin uses OS DBDK and VPP to accelerate container networking and can be used by CNI. CNF will run in container and should be based on DBDK. The, base, the basic idea of user space CNF plugin is to use Wayhost user protocol to accelerate container networking. There are control paths and the data paths in Wayhost user protocol. Control path is through a socket and data path is through sharing memory. This is a data path of user space CNF plugin. There are two kinds of traffic. One kind of traffic is between physical need and port. And this traffic is marked in yellow. The traffic from physical need will be pulled and put into unbuffs by the PMD. By doing this, traffic will bypass Linux kernel and be sent to user space directly. OS DBDK will match open flows and execute the actions. Suppose the traffic should be sent to port zero, which runs CNF inside. OS DBDK will put the unbox into the shared memory between port zero and OS DBDK. Port zero will pull the unbox from the shared memory through whatever PMD. The other kind of traffic is between different ports and this traffic is marked in blue. Suppose port zero sends traffic to port one, which also runs CNF inside. Port zero will put a buff into the shared memory of port zero and OS DBDK. OS DBDK will copy the unbuffs from the shared memory if the DQ0 copy is not enabled, and then match the open flows, execute action, in this case, traffic should be sent to port 1. OS DBDK will copy and buff into the shared memory of port 1 and OS DBDK. And then port 1 will pull and buff 
from the shared memory through what our PM did. However, zero space snap plugin can't support normal application because it bypassed Linux networking stack to support to support both CNS and normal application. Multas should be used. Multas is an open source CNS plugin and is developed by Intel. Normally, ports in Kubernetes only have one interface. Multas can create multiple interfaces for the ports, but Multas doesn't create interface itself, and Multas creates in configuration files of other CNS plugins and then call other CNS plugins to create interfaces for the port. The diagram shows the port with three interfaces, Ethernet 0, 9 0, and 9 1. Ethernet 0 connects Kubernetes clusters network to connect to Kubernetes servers AP services. Kubernetes, uh, for example, uh, Kubernetes API server, Kubernetes, and so on. 90 and 91 are additional network attachments that connect to other networks by using other CNI plugins. For network age, OS with WES should be used for Ethernet 0, and this interface can be used by normal applications like Nginx. Zero space CNI plugin should be used for additional network attachments such as NAT0. And this interface can be used by CNF. A CNF is used to process networking traffic. There is a requirement in telecom to process the traffic generated by normal application through a CNF. It means the traffic generated by normal application should be able to send to CNF, but this method doesn't support to send traffic from normal bridge to your space bridge in OS. This method can be used to meet the requirement of processing the traffic generated by the normal application through CNF. In this diagram, your space CNF <coughs> in this diagram, your space CNF is still used by the port which runs CNF. For the ports which run normal applications, XDP with AFXDP should be used. Let's consider the traffic marked in red. It's generated by port three, which runs normal application, and the destination is port zero, which runs CNI. The traffic will go through Linux networking stack in port three because a wise interface is used by port three. The traffic will be sent to wise four, which is a wise pair of wise three. OS implements a XCP program and an eBPF map, which interacts with XCP program to go as packet to AFXDP socket. Through AFXDP socket, packets can be sent to user space. OS also implements a network device type AFXDP. So this network, this network device AFXDP uh, can be can be used to receive and transmit packets using the AFXDP socket. After receiving packets uh, through AFXDP network device, OS DBDK will match open flows and execute actions. In this case, traffic will be sent to port zero. OSDBK will copy and bounce into the shared memory of port zero and OSDBK, and then port zero will pull the unbuffs from the shared memory through what I PMD. Let's 